Yeah, I would say like this. Uh, Joe Biden allocated nine billion dollars for a student loan forgiveness. At the same time, uh, he has been complaining about $25 billion promised assistance to Ukraine that's not being delivered, that he sees this like an obstacle, uh, removal of Kevin McCarthy uh, impacting matters in Washington, D.C. Well, here is the deal. There is no student that wants to have his or her loan forgiven. Uh, let me explain. If you go in the world of sports, or you go to work, or you go whatever it is that you do out there, uh, you want to have some kind of beginnings something that marks your life, something that gives you a meaning, that, give you, that gives you a platform that when you started somewhere, uh, you actually took a loan uh, to finance yourself, to do your stuff. It's a matter of individuality. People go and do military service mm -hmm. to, get, to get paid for universities and so on. People do this stuff. It's a normal stuff to do. It's normally for the country to charge for university degrees, for education, I should say. However, what is not normal in the United States of America is the situation with employment. Basically, what is not normal in the United States of America is a job market. What is not normal in the United States of America is lack of uh, people having the ability to pursue their, um, I don't like to use the word dreams, but basically guide in life, basically guidance is what's missing. A leadership is what's missing in the United States of America. And you cannot Yes, you can use the unemployment, uh, actually, through unemployment, you can use funds like $9 billion that are probably the difference for Ukraine right now at this moment between having one liberated and fail indefinitely. You're talking about the biggest country in Europe. Basically, you can use the unemployment literally to promote yourself as a personality, as a politician. I did this. I allocated this. I that. I that. Ah. Uh, You can do the stuff like this, or you can get a new leader that will represent the interests of the United States of America. I know there is a lot of compromises that you have to make as a president, as a, you know, the U.S. Congress, I know they're doing they are measuring Optimo and the foreign relations and uh, the econo economy and everything. Uh, but according to my according to my data, according to my estimation, uh, United States of America greatly undermined its abilities to present uh, the window of opportunity for Americans in the US. Basically, I don't see with so many other uh, with a great potential that the US has, I've seen very little like, 
you know. Very little being done about in the United States. I've seen the world of billionaires, individuals raising uh, with a taxpayer's money that are not making things easy. Uh, it's not maybe even so much about a corporate world because you're never going to get rid of a corporate world, you know. But there is just there is just um, a lack of uh, giving people the freedom to to develop itself, to develop themselves into what you know, into the potential uh, they must present, represent. Uh, they will they will continue to to significate. Uh, such a country like United States of America because it's a very, very it's a country of entrepreneurs and this kind of stuff is not going to help in absolutely any way what the people, the students need in United States of America is basically entrepreneurial spirit, you know uh, the urge when they study, the need, the same thing like you go and you do sports or whatever you do, that, you know, a creation of a young person, of a young individual that goes to study and is also aware of, you know, is taking responsibilities for his world. He knows that he took the credit, that he's got a credit, he's got to pay the debt and so on. And he is an extra assistance to one, extra motive for him to or her to complete the university. Go out there and compete itself. But hey, man, when you go out there and you try to compete yourself uh, and you barely can get your, uh, how you say, absolvencia, absolvency done and so on, and then there is no job, no career, no guidance in your life, this is what the United States doesn't need. The United States doesn't need to become a crippled uh, You know, I, I got a problem. Mertvak, uh, Merlich, like a dead man, like like you know, sucking the the ghost, the 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 willpower out of people, out of young people, for being competitive, for you know. For the you know to take the spirit away from them basically like uh, it, it's looking more and more like uh, like uh, like somebody in, in a morgue or something like that is just not is losing the spirit and you know that's the kind of stuff that kills entrepreneurship entrepreneurship in people and and the whole country it's based on that entrepreneurship actually you know it is. Uh, the competition and so on. Um, uh, Joe Biden's politics is a disaster, there's no doubt about it. The thing is, it's not only Joe Biden. It's another individual like this that met with Vladimir Putin inside of this residence, inside of this house, on numerous occasions, and also threatened with the issue of the social crisis within. Uh, to me, if I would raise uh, opinion against one, was Justin Trudeau. Folks, you're way overdue when it comes assistance to Ukraine. Folks, Sergey Lauro, excellent United Nations, that the United States of America is directly in conflict with Russia inside of the Ukraine. All right, never minds, he never minds, never minds what Russia is doing in Ukraine. Russia is committing war crimes. Uh, it's another war, it's another hundred year war on Ukraine, on the people of Ukraine, something that Stalin started through the purges. It goes on. And 
basically what we see, the way I see this thing is, Ukraine is becoming a crippled nation, uh, and it goes to the European leaders. I am very disappointed with you to see this, to note your lack of uh, engagement in this conflict. You got uh, all kinds of immigrants coming to Europe from all over the world, for whom I am truly happy that you receive them, that you assist them. Uh, this is the way to go. It's the way to engage these immigrants into a daily life, involve them everywhere you can. Uh, there is no such thing as crisis. I don't believe in any kind of crisis. I believe in opportunities. Use these immigrants to expand relations, basically, with the countries, wherever they come from. This is your real job. You know what I mean? And the second thing is so that the people can have opportunities the people who come to you and the people where they come from and your own people manufacturing and industry wise this is basically what i believe i believe in opportunity in the windows of opportunity people not opportunities i don't actually even like the word opportunities but competition this is this entrepreneurial spirit that i think in the united states of america is 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 dead you know it's becoming dead i don't like the word opportunity i don't like the word the word uh dream you know i like the word the, i like you know competition competition is you know entrepreneurial spirit basically the, the will to engage the will to engage, this is what I like. And I, I don't see it. Ukraine should not become European member state. You understand? Till Ukraine is in one piece, do not allow, if you're inside of the Europe, for Zelensky to excuse loss of the Ukrainian territorial integrity, independence, whether you are inside of the Ukraine or you are inside of the European Union, do not allow Zelensky to get an excuse. You don't need no European Union membership status because you don't want the European Union membership status. You are in a war right now. You are in a conflict right now, and you are to go, and you are to liberate every inch of your land, and your European partners are to assist you best to your abilities. I have to stress disgust over European leaders for equaling immigrants from abroad with Ukrainians who are desperately in a need of work. There is one thing that applies to European Union membership, but there is completely, totally other issue, basically releasing, freeing all the restrictions that you already should have and you have not that apply uh, to a foreign workers, like such as from Ukraine. How the hell do you see yourself integrating with Ukraine when this kind of relations, and this is what I bitched you about, this is what I preached you about, this is what I talked to you for 50 fucking years. The, it's everything depends on a social uh, relations. Why don't you use the opportunity to issue immediately Ukrainian people completely restrictions free right to work anywhere in Europe and coordinate this somehow with the Ukrainian government so they can uh, they can have something out of this so the people can actually earn some money so this European spirit can be kept alive so these people can go to work whether they want to go to Italy or Spain or France or Germany whatever it is 
And what you do is, for the such a workers from Ukraine that you release them, that kind of stuff, you reserve, I don't know, certain tax or something, some kind of money that from their pay they earn that would be used to finance country, to finance this uh, war in Ukraine, help Ukrainian people secure their employment, their jobs, rather than they wait over there in those villages uh, without jobs, uh, scratching their ass, basically waiting for their homes to, be, to have torn apart. I mean, Ukraine right now is in a total destitution crisis. This is a country that is facing a real, real feedback because of the issues which I stated are bound, obviously, to happen. Joe Biden is booking a war in Washington, D.C. against Ukraine. Justin Trudeau, just as much. This here is a trouble. This here is a trouble. Behavior doesn't bother me, but I have seen somebody stressing the issues to Trudeau concerning the economic crisis in the country. This is a very, very bad time, folks. If you are a normal Canadian, this is a stupid, this is a crazy time. This is the worst time to stress uh, social crisis in the country. You had a lot of time. You had a lot of time to produce, to stress the crisis inside of the Canada. This get you the time, updates from Canada because their Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, now this is coming across as another huge embarrassment for him because he was confronted by a man in Toronto while he was greeting his supporters. The man heckled Trudeau on issues including houses pricing and even when it comes to the carbon taxes and refused to shake hands with him. In that that went viral on social media. Trudeau is seen waving and shaking hands with a supporter. He then proceeds to greet the man by extending his hand, who thereafter refused. This man was hired by Justin Trudeau. I'm going to put it this way. <laughs> this is the same thing what Joe Biden is doing. These people are doing this stuff to themselves. There's one thing, however, they are not doing. They're not resolving the crisis efficiently inside of their countries. That's for one thing. And the second thing they're not doing, they're jamming the system, if you ask me. And the second, but it's not isolated. It's U.S. government that must take initiative in, in doing what is the right thing to do. I am absolutely, I am not here to stress you out that people need to be deprived of anything. That's exactly what they are doing. They, what they, they throw on one side $25 billion on a table for Ukraine to allocate the money for Ukraine. And at the same time, you throw out on the table $9 billion for the student forgiveness. This is nice. This is cool. It's cool. But I'm going to tell you something. Let me explain to you something here. $25 from Congress, including Ukraine aid, includes certain billion for defense, $12 billion disaster, and so on and so forth. The Republicans have balked at 
more money here war effort listen to me very good okay what the fuck are you talking about that you will do this and you will do that the first step before the ukraine should join should have the right to join to european union is to put boots on the ground it's to fulfill Sergei Lavrov's requirement, basically what, what Sergei Lavrov complained about, the first thing before you allocate any kind of funds, what you do is you put the boots on the ground. I don't. What I one one thing I don't understand why American military is still not inside of the Ukraine, not in the Russia. I didn't say in the Russia, but I said in Ukraine. Now. I don't know for any Russian politician that would even dare to say that Ukrainian nation doesn't have the right to independence, that Ukrainian nation doesn't have the right to exist. As for the moment, the Russian politician would say something like this, Russia would go missing, would disappear from the map. We all know this. So my question to you is, when we solve the crisis, why don't you take the matter of responsibilities priorities and instead and as i stated place nato troops inside of the ukraine immediately and stop this crazy stuff here which is taking the whole picture inside of the people you know the people get distorted idea about ukraine now and it's truly unnecessary the people in ukraine suffer American taxpayers get a wrong picture about everything. Canadians get a wrong picture about it. You're painting the whole picture into something that is not. If you want to invest in Ukraine, hopefully you do. You need the social relations with Ukraine, which I insisted you, you must expand at least the same relation with Ukraine, whatever European country you are, as to what would be if European if if Ukraine would be a European Union member, and I'm only implying to workers, basically the people, to the immigrants that could boost uh, assistance to, uh, you know, it's own government basically they will go get the job get the work get the education get the university whatever that will be inside of the europe despite ukraine not being a member of european union and in return uh, allocate certain funds that would be used to finance the war efforts assistance to ukraine to get one liberated so that this funds also here that you're talking about this 25 billion would not go to waste. This is a matter of priorities that Joe Biden is turning into something completely different. And even less with this kind of money that Joe Biden insisted me during MK Ultra. Will to boost this kind of money, to boost this kind of money as Joe Biden insisted me during MK Ultra, that he would use a student forgiveness loan. Come on, give me a fucking break. Nobody in America wants to have his loan forgiven. The people that want to have their loans forgiven, there is something wrong with it. It is simple as this. I can negotiate with you a standstill issue if something is wrong with you uh health wise i would be willing to void the money for you if you have some kind of whatever problems that you have that you cannot go and realize this uh, payoff of this debt you took for your university degree uh but for me from my aspect from my point of view the main thing is for me to secure that you have certain guide in your life that you have that you have your goals going, that you have your entrepreneurship, uh, your entrepreneurial spirit, that you get one going. For me, 
for you to take loan and to pay off the debt and then go basically brain dead. Uh, it's basically crippling country. Uh, it's taking the country down. This is the worst thing that can happen to the United States of America. I'm afraid that's exactly what's happening. I'm afraid that's exactly what's happening. We, we, don't, have, we don't have what it takes to move the country forward. And on top of that, uh, we are using literally what should have been Ukrainian money already long allocated for Ukraine in a form of U.S. military assistance. There should be already jets, F-15, F-16 bombarding troops, Russian troops for Ukrainian people not to face off with every landmine land on the field should already long go and be like you're going to have a hundred landmines and this poor Ukrainian limb losing soldier are out out there to find or step on every landmine that is out there. Instead, there should be a progress made through remote advancement, basically through the specific corridors which would grant landmine free areas through which Ukrainian military could move forward and forward till every inch of the country is liberated. That stuff isn't happening without air superiority. That's what the air superiority is. If you aren't going to use this, then obviously you're turning the Ukraine into a, into, into a crippled, uh, invalid, disabled, status of disabled, uh, crippled nation, basically, full of fathers, full of people without limbs, without and so on. Now that you're using, that you're using a 20, it's not, it's not, it's never been forgiven the loan in the history of the U.S., the student loan. When you're doing, when you're, when you're haggling with something that have never been used in the history of the country, you are creating anti-Ukrainian sentiment. What you are doing is basically you are engaging in a swift war against Ukraine with your politics, Joe Biden. That's what you do. What you're not you're not using nine billion dollar to fund twenty five billion dollar for Ukraine. You are creating a poly, You are creating a clusterfuck politic through which a crippled nation is being made. You are destroying Ukraine. You're creating social crisis. You're decimating Ukrainian independence. And you're portraying one in the eyes of the Russians also, like something like, better fucking not do that, because this is a long and painful way. You, Joe Biden, have rated with your British royals Ukraine is mentally ill country. You have assigned to Ukraine a mentally ill status, and you're driving one more and more and more crippled and mentally ill. What was exactly the opposite of the situation which took place in South Korea or during your Vietnam War? Wherever you found a great interest in people for their independence, and that was the same thing, in my life, you have done this to me on a million occasions. You have crippled me on a million occasions. You have done unimaginable stuff to me. You're doing exactly identical stuff to Ukraine now. You are slowly retarding and destroying, crippling the biggest country in Europe that in fact could be a really maybe the biggest potential for the European Union, for definitely the biggest potential for European Union. A place where people could go socialize and vice versa where from people where from where people could go and socialize, create a social relations and expand. Basically safety for entire European continent and consequently also bring Russia aboard one day as a European Union member.
you are fucking up the whole picture in Ukrainian people, in Russian people, in uh, you, you are creating out of something that should have been solved already a long time ago, uh, a massacre. When I was in Poland, Ukrainian people all the time use the word massacre, massacre. But this is, this is fucking massacre. This stuff that you see right there, Joe Biden, I would give him the name massacre. He is creating completely own picture out of really something that doesn't take genius to know how to solve the crisis inside of the country and outside of the country. I call on American Congress to get this guy arrested, not only removed, and use competent people to do the job, as I stated. Something that is normal according to the human being, expectations to be done. Or I bet I'm 100% you on a long term are going to face a lot of trouble on every step of the way, whatever the hell you will be doing. You're clustering the whole system. And Ukrainian allegiance as such, the allegiance of Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, all these countries might become even questionable to you because your behavior, this is a misconduct. This is a reckless misconduct. It's deliberate inflicting the pain, the injury on a country that wants to become a member of something that you installed so that you can have it uh, basically your way, the way you want. This is not the money that is in question What the people need, the people need, the people need, I'm not going to say job security. The people need entrepreneurship. The people need the right to competition with, with everybody within the society. The people need the ability to grow. Uh, and the U.S. government, contrary to... Uh, club of the billionaires, club of the special people out there, needs to find a way for the new entrepreneurs, for the new people that can, that can, uh, that can expand, that can grow. Uh, U.S. government needs to invest also in areas like China did, desert areas and so on, and grow the potential out of where we don't see anything other than smoke, basically, right? You talk about some fucking uh, water shortage and crisis. And I know we are only talking about the crisis, folks. We're not, we got used to with this kind of politic to talk about crisis. Like it's only about the crisis. Crisis is everywhere. Let's get this picture of the picture. And let's give the meaning, the meaningful status to the NATO membership. A return the real face to the United States of America as it should be. Those nine billion dollars are a difference in a form of fighter jets right now, in a form of the right assistance it will be thrown to Ukraine. That's exactly probably the difference between having country liberated and it doesn't take much to get one liberated. It's probably what Ukraine need now, not $25 down the picture. They said Joe Biden says next year, that means it's going to be in five years. It's a problem when you come to Washington and they applaud you and they say, all right, we're going to grant you $500, $500 million in military assistance. Yeah, for me, it's a problem because I don't know about Ukrainian government, but me, I, if I would be in presidential seat, contrary to Zelensky, I would stress a different platform of news which would accent basically when you say $500 million 
for me, assistance is whatever the fuck I get today or tomorrow. When you say this is the assistance, it's the assistance now, basically. Now, in this moment, lands, landing, where I want them, assistance to be received, that's the assistance. For you to say it's going to be, it's not only in Washington, D.C., that stuff happened all over the Europe also, Brussels. The politicians promised it's going to be help, and then it was not delivered yet, and then it was quacked up ammunition. The ammunition uh, would not even work. The tanks would have to go, uh, that were delivered would have to go instead to the repair shops and stuff like this. When you said to me assistance and stuff like this, this means assistance. As for everything else, I cannot even imagine. But since you say today, this, the news, the, new, the media, what they do, they cover everything and they say, Zelensky got so much. Zelensky got so much. He got so much. He got so much. But when you when you look at the picture, the actual picture, talking this to the Ukrainian government right now, what should have been yesterday already is not being delivered until the next year. It's catastrophical. The situation in Ukraine is catastrophical when it comes to military assistance. It's not being as it's not being delivered. It's not being delivered as it should be. And then it's used, you know, like under another opportunity did you go again to tell you that it's gonna be I don't know what somewhere else again and you know uh, the timing makes the difference whether it is now or it's going to be in the future or it's going to be in a holy never when you said it's going to be in the future this means holy never this means mental illness it means the crippled nation it means people without the spirit it means to 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 turn the whole nation into a dead crip into 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 uh disabled uh you know i don't like crisis i don't like invictus games i don't like this because it doesn't belong to one man. It doesn't belong to one family. I want the spirit, American spirit back. I want what United States of America was funded on. Or I don't want United States of America. Or I do not want NATO. Or I want another option than NATO. I want another way. What the fuck is it going to be? What you're doing is a clusterfuck. What you see here is what British government ought, was bound, European NATO governments, to do. And not reserve exclusive rights for the royal members to pose, promote themselves in a such settings. Because this is not a fucking private club. NATO is not private. European Union is not private. United States of America is not private. Set the special interests, or I should say mental illness, that is crippling the world aside or step down. I was told, do not talk about the Invictus Games. There is people, they're on wheelchairs, that want to tutor us on how to pursue, how to view the picture, because they have the status of the people that are disabled. And they believe they know better than what we do, because they served in, in the armed services. But the thing is, you don't. You got paid for your job. The same thing like everybody does when they step into boxing ring or whatever they do, or you go out there and you do the job. Nothing is certain in this life. You don't. You got paid. You got disabled status for which you must be taken care of there must be socializing for these people these people must be taken care of i've seen people in london 
begging for basically crying about displacement. Ladies, some some veterans in London, they cried about being displaced in London. My question to you is why? And the answer I'm going to get to this issue is, again, the British royals, again, were involved in the scam in this charity organization. Uh, British never fund, British royals never fund directly. They always are using, they always are using. They always are using charity organizations. Uh, they basically wash the money. They basically wash the money, and when the picture already is uh, depicted like totally helpless picture, like, like there is like no way out, uh, like that when the picture becomes totally chaotic, uh, most of the time they don't even step on the picture. They don't even step out on the picture. But they, they pose with these people in the background. And then these people disseminate lies about how they saved them. And it would be nothing without them. And so on and so forth. You know what? Let me demonstrate you this stuff here. Let me demonstrate you this here. This isn't going to be a French Foreign Legion. It's salary. This is going to be about what French Foreign Legion does with their soldiers. If those soldiers become crippled, if those soldiers, when if they serve and they just stay all their life in the Foreign Legion, they have a place inside of the for, French Foreign Legion. They have an in, installation which is dedicated to their veterans, whom they take care, their own legioners. It's not a difficult thing to do, to make sure that your fellow men are being taken care of, entertained, that they socialize, they have a proper settings, that they're being well taken care of. You can do it too, British. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you, why don't you do it? Why do you spread the news like this? Why are you twisting the world, the reality around? What happened to your world post-World War II legacy? And I'm asking to American veterans and everybody for that matter. I see homeless people, veterans, and so on. You should too, U.S. Marines. You, U.S. military, you should too. You should too. They're the best in the industry. Because they are clear-minded. They have a clear mindset. There's a lot of reasons why they are the best in the industry. You should do. You must take care of your own. One part of soldier is to learn to take care of whatever belongs to him. I fuck your fraternity that says, brothers forever while watching your older and disabled veterans out on the street in a cold with homeless and so on and so forth throwing them at mercy of some 1-800 london cabal some royals that can't wait to exploit and they do exploit this poverty to brand themselves to sport themselves in media to promote themselves, not in media, but all, but foremost in background. These people are bound to make the news through conspiracy because everything in their life is conspiracy. I got a problem with it. 
I got a problem with the government institutions, with corruption to the such degree that involves police, government workers, social workers, and so on. I got a problem even with the veterans, disabled veterans, that know better. I got a problem with this kind of attitude. And I'm sick of it because it's sickening the whole world. With this kind of issues, you're creating turmoil within the society and you do a tremendous harm, not favor to anybody. It's a catastrophic policy of Joe Biden. I don't mind Justin Trudeau. I never mind Justin Trudeau. I always like Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau, in my case, was involved since my childhood, Justin Trudeau was involved for a very long time. Justin Trudeau grew up in a, in a very exclusive, wealthy neighborhood over there in Canada. I don't have a problem with the Justin Trudeau because he was very nice. He always expressed interest in other groups of people, not only those with strong social standing. He's a just individual. He's a good person. I like him. But I would warn Justin Trudeau about Joe Biden. The picture which both countries are taking at present is the wrong direction. It's a wrong guide for both countries. It's going in the wrong direction. Uh, nothing really so far is being done. This is basically not a Assistant, this is fucking welfaring of Ukraine. It's like you put somebody on a fucking welfare. And it's not even on a welfare, but like really, really restricted assistance. Like shit assistance completely. Something that already odd was odd. Something that should have been done already a long time ago. You're lagging behind. Uh, and you're trying to portray your political powers to some kind of social struggles or some kind of uh, thrown basically on a table. European Union membership of fully sized Ukrainian state nation with Crimea, with Donetsk, with everything on the map. You threw that basically on a scale with a student debt loans. I mean, that sucks. That really, really sucks as it gets because these are not two issues, and basically one had nothing to do with, with another. American people need the opportunity, they need to engage. That spirit, that, that, that American spirit about going out there and get it done, basically that must be alive, basically. Must be awakened and must be brought back from death. Anything in this world comes at expense of somebody else's misfortune. That's what I learned about this circle of Illuminati I was in, uh, but not necessary because they're twisting the picture into something that was not bound to be really. Something that their citizens should not sacrifice, should not take for uh, they don't have to give up on it for Ukrainians to get the money. It's exactly vice versa what Joe Biden claimed me, that he's going to promote assistance to Ukraine through, you know, this, this is a clusterfuck to some kind of a student debt forgiveness loans and stuff like this and this and that and cluster into that. No, man, you're, you're creating a social crisis in the country. You're actually questioning people. Uh, you're actually what clearly with the fucking health mind people, somebody that is normal, understands, is actually American people now questioning and asking themselves, why the hell aren't there boots on the ground over there in the Ukraine already? Why is it that we have this? 
Vladimir Putin talked about the asymmetric stuff and so on and this and that. There is no such thing here as asymmetric. There is Ukraine, and there is those that are in Ukraine to hurt, to kill Ukrainian people. What part the fuck you don't understand about that stuff? This is not difficult to understand. What is this here? U.S. directly in war Russia. That was a big news. That is directly at war with Moscow in Ukraine. What part of this stuff is it that you don't understand? I mean, which part of it that you don't understand? It's not on the United States of America that is directly in war. It's also Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Holland. All the NATO members directly are in a war. And so are other countries that, assist, that give assistance to Ukraine. Every normal sanity is in a war with Russia directly in Ukraine. And Russia is in war with Russia in Ukraine. What part the hell is it that you don't understand about what is for you to do? With the packages I see being released to Ukraine of what should have been released. Yesterday already is being advertised is it will be uh it will come uh, just so that it can be another uh declaration the issue again that will be issued and so on assistance and this ukraine doesn't need no fucking assistance like this ukraine doesn't need this kind of packages and crisis packages and the water and the cheese and the ukraine doesn't need this what ukraine needs are boots on the ground today not tomorrow ukraine will pay you your nine billion dollar for the student debt if you need them just get the fucking boots on the ground in ukraine and get ukraine free clean Ukraine, so the Ukrainian people can start breed, so they can start build the factories together with your American workers, interested entrepreneurs, those that got their diplomas, degrees, and don't know what the fuck to do with it. Now they're scratching their ass. Get your sanity back on a track. It's going bad. This U.S. politics is a clusterfuck. It's what started with my case 51 years ago. It must stop. It must come to a sharp end, to a, to a still. It doesn't work like this, Joe Biden. Joe Biden should be arrested, if anything, together with Kevin McCarthy. The two people did nothing other than suck. A good federal pay, got around, collected the money through this exclusive club of Illuminati. Is completely indifferent to other special interests, as I see. What I what I see, these people, it's called a special interest. What the special interests finally, folks, it became evident, have proven themselves to be a hurdle, obstacle for the citizen. It's a trouble. Citizen wants more. Citizen wants a decent standard of life, a decent way to go about life. Less bureaucracy to watch over their shoulders about and I'm gonna say more rights to participate 
but competition ability to compete basically i'm not gonna say chances i don't even like chances anymore this is all bullshit it's all bullshit i've seen all this stuff it's all this this is all this is all vocabulary bullshit that's being used through media we're just not seeing stuff being done folks and somehow along the way this is how it all started so i know the picture the real picture Act now because this is going nowhere. What could be done today might never be even be done because of the politics like this. They brought under the question with Joe Biden's politics, the whole picture in Ukraine. We don't even know if where the whole picture is taken to. And there is some bureaucrat who again over there that is taking the whole thing on a ride on a wild ride and it's turning itself and it's it's just uh composing this the whole picture around and acting awkward uh, is full of guffes all kinds of stuff like this can you get a diplomats together that are going to do the job because for ukrainian people for the whole world basically for your people that wants to build these bridges that wants to this system to be based on a social relations incorporate the whole picture into a greater picture they too need and i'm going to use the word opportunity i hate it i didn't have any or chance But just so the people can do their stuff, because you brought it, you know, the picture that you made in the United States of America and inside of the European Union, it goes into the category of the health crisis. And you're talking about the mental health crisis. It goes into the category of the most severe, the most serious. It's nothing when you talk about the floods, we talk about this crisis, about that kind of crisis. You talk the highest category of mental health crisis that people are faced with they are facing these days so the special interest the special stuff can be depicted promoted forward and you know so they can they can support themselves and so on we don't need this the world did not deserve this people don't deserve people deserve better than this sorry but you failed Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.